India has deployed its Eastern Fleet to the South China Sea for its first joint maritime patrol with the Philippines, signaling a strategic counter to Chinese influence. India and the UAE have agreed to deepen defense ties through a new agreement on maritime security, real-time information sharing, joint manufacturing, military training, artificial intelligence drones and shipbuilding. India and the UK have launched the Electric Propulsion Capability Partnership to power Indian Navy's next-generation destroyers with Rolls-Royce MT-30 marine gas turbine engines. Bharat Forge is setting up a new advanced ring mill facility in Pune by early 2026, to manufacture engine components for global clients including Pratt & Whitney Canada and Liebherr Aerospace. India and Brazil held key defense talks to boost military cooperation, defense manufacturing, and regional security under the 8th Joint Defense Committee meeting. Zamato co-founder has launched LAT Aerospace, that plans to develop 12-seat hybrid electric short takeoff and landing aircraft, that will be capable of taking off from small city-based air stops. The Chetak Corps of the Indian Army held a capability enhancement demonstration in Rajasthan's deserts, showcasing innovations in kamikaze drones and counter-drone technology in a high electronic warfare setting. Defence attaches from 27 countries visited the Indian Army's Wargaming Development Center in New Delhi, and they were briefed on advancements in computer wargaming and in-house simulation tools. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has officially delivered INS Himgiri to the Indian Navy, which is the first advanced guided missile frigate under Project 17A. French firm Tarles and Bharat Dynamics is all set to start deliveries of Star Streak manpads to the Indian Army, that will have over 60% indigenous content. Hindustan Aeronautics has commissioned the first Jaguar Darren 3 fixed base full motion simulator to boost pilot training, that has been developed indigenously with Indian partners. HAL has successfully flight tested an indigenously developed software defined radio on the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter. HAL Stages Division in Bangalore has developed an AI based snag disposition information management system to streamline detection and resolution of technical issues during Tejas production and maintenance. The Prachand Light Combat Helicopter will soon be equipped with directed infrared countermeasure systems developed by HAL and Bharat Electronics that will use laser beams to jam missile seekers and boost protection against manpads and heat seeking missiles. Hyderabad based VEM Technologies has successfully conducted 40 prototype firings of its Issy Bull third generation man portable anti tank guided missile, and has secured a license to produce 10,000 tactical missiles annually at its Telangana facility, and it is now awaiting user trials with the Indian Army. In a big development, India has told US officials that India is not interested in acquiring F 35 stealth fighter jets from the US and the Modi government is unlikely to buy additional defense equipments from the US. Officials have said that the Modi government prefers defense deals that are focused on joint design and manufacturing under Make in India, rather than buying off-the-shelf platforms. It is now confirmed that the DRDOZ RAD's extended range air defense system will include an indigenously developed long-range battle management radar, featuring advanced digital beam forming capabilities and gallium nitride based modules for superior performance. Operating in the S-band with a detection range exceeding 500 km, the radar will enable multi-target tracking, and counter threats like stealth aircraft ballistic and cruise missiles. The Mach 5.5 capable 150 km range M1 interceptor testing is expected in late 2025, and Mach 7 speed 250 km range M2 interceptor and Mach 7 plus 400 km range M3 interceptor will follow during 2026. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.